Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend read. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So guys, we're going to do a quick shuffle here on camera. Um, we're going to go over a couple really quick announcements, get into your pre-shuffle message, and then we're going to get into the reading, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Pisces, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for Pisces for January 30th to February 2nd, please, Spirit? What messages do my Pisces need to hear today, please, Spirit? What love messages, what clarity and guidance can we bring to my Pisces today, please, Spirit? Okay, guys, so if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this reading. I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and for February 1st, I'm going to be giving away jewelry too. I am so excited, okay? Um, so guys, the winners are always announced on the first of the month. So go ahead and click that notification bell. So you know when I post a reading and you'll know when um, that reading, po the excuse me, the video post announcing the winners uh, because you only have till the last day of that month to claim your winnings, okay? So I am not taking personal readings at the moment, but you can still visit my website, www.thetaroflight.com. Um, to uh, view my tarot collection. I do have well over um, 100 decks, guys, uh, oracle cards and tarot cards. Um, so if you're interested, you could go in and check it out. They all have links to purchase. Uh, I actually had some time last night, guys, so I was able to hop on YouTube. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Shaman Seer Tarot. That's S-H-A-M-A-N, Seer, S-E-E-R, Tarot. Okay, I really enjoyed um, that reading so check it out guys and I've had a lot of people ask me if I have Instagram so I do the link is in the description box below I do post I'm going to be posting daily messages um, some will be tarot some will be angel messages so if you'd like to follow me on Instagram my link is below okay um, all right guys so let's get into the pre-shuffle message Pisces, good lord, you guys are confused. So I don't know if it's you that has multiple options, Pisces, or somebody else, but I'm feeling here that someone just doesn't know where something is going, uh, where it's headed. Like they're not seeing the future here. Um, just confusion. You know, there may be a lot of challenges that have to be overcome before like this connection can actually come together, maybe I'm hearing for some of you. Um, you know, just small things like maybe it's a long distance relationship and maybe there's, you know, there, there's a, a long time space before you guys could actually physically be together and someone here is just not knowing, like not knowing what's going to happen. Uh, I'm getting for some of you, it could be, you know, like overseas marriages where you don't know if this person is going to be accepted or not, like a visa is going to be accepted. It could be something like prison, like, you know, you just don't know with prison. You don't know, like, you know, this person may be out in three years, they get into a fight, now it's five. And like someone here, just a, a, a lot of confusion and not knowing where the connection is actually headed and what is going to happen, okay? Um, for others of you, it might actually be a physical move, like you're trying to move to a, a new location, there's multiple apartments or something like that, or for some of you, maybe it's a new job. Whatever it is, it's a lot of confusion and not knowing, okay? Under the deck here, we've got judgment, Sagittarian energy. Um, with judgment, the judgment card is about actually making a final judgment call, or it could be about reconciliation and wanting a second chance. Um, so either you're having trouble making a decision, or you, you don't know what the final judgment's going to be. So for some of you, I mean, this could actually be a case of like, you're going to court and you just don't know how this is going to turn out. You just, it, it's just a sense of like confusion and not knowing like, what challenges are going to be overcome, what you have to overcome next. You know, it's just this overall sense. I'm not exactly feeling anxiety. That's the weird thing. Like you guys are working through it, but at the same time, I'm feeling like this sense of like, I have no idea what's going to happen. Que sera, sera. Isn't that what they say? Like whatever will be, will be, you know, like you're just like, I, I, I don't know how this is going to end up, but we'll figure it out when we get there. Right. So let's see what we have for the, um, Oracle here. Under the deck uh, judgment, we went over that. So let's see what we have for Oracle. 
the sun. Leo energy, happiest card in the deck, literally. Like I said, I'm not really feeling anxiety. And seventh chakra, okay? So what I'm getting here, guys, is, you know, you may be a little, oh, for, a lot, for some of you, this may resonate for like one of you, okay? Uh, you guys might be light workers or seers and your thoughts may be very muddled at the moment. Um, I go through this too sometimes. I, more than anything, I go through this if I try to read for myself. I'll pull cards and everything gets confusing. For as much as I could pull these cards and read for you, if I go to pull cards for myself, I can't make a story out of it. I can't put, I get very confused weird right but you know for some of you you may be light workers there may just be a lot of thoughts in your head right now confusing you okay your guides may be overwhelming you maybe or maybe just like you're getting multi like your chakras open and you're just getting a lot of messages that's confusing you okay um so let's go ahead and see what we have for the uh moonology deck here so guys we're going to be using the lulin tarot the romance angels the energy oracle and the quantum oracle okay so we have show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. So for some of you, what I'm getting here is um, Pisces, you may be getting a lot of downloads here. You know, for those of you who are light workers, maybe or a little bit more spiritual where the veil is very thin for you because your chakra is open. So you're receiving a lot of messages. So what I'm seeing here is that maybe you might be getting a calling to come into healing work, uh, to come into being a light worker, like to expose yourself. Maybe, you know, for some of you, your guides are telling you to show the world who you really are and what you can really do. And you may just be confused on how to even get started doing that. Um, you know, I, I just pick up random messages so i'm actually picking up your energy as you can see i'm all over the place and just all these messages and i'm just spewing them all out okay so um so guys let's see what we have going on here i'm going to read you on this side pisces your person on this side feel free to flip it twist it reverse it you know how that goes um so here we have wedding the situation involves marriage and we have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment okay so you guys are getting married reading over <laughs> like okay so for some of you you may have a proposal of marriage and um maybe you're just confused as to whether or not you should take this or not all right so we have the eight of cups emotional disconnection we have the magician virgo gemini energy we have the queen of wands leo sagittarius aries energy and we have the two of cups, okay? So what I'm getting here, guys, and then we have the eight of swords, the eight of swords, okay? What I'm getting here, guys, is like I said, a lot of you may have gotten engaged, okay? And this is maybe very few of you, okay? But they are messages that I pick up and I'm reading for thousands of people. So if it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. We're gonna move on. Something will click that hopefully does resonate, okay? Some of you may have gotten engaged or married to somebody I'm feeling maybe overseas that's far away, someone that's in prison, because with the Eight of Swords, somebody is stuck somewhere or in a situation, okay? So I'm feeling like either someone is stuck in a different country, stuck in prison, stuck in the army. Someone here is bound they're stuck they can't be with you okay yet at the same time there's this high level of commitment here now with the eight of cups um and the magician i'm feeling that um you know the eight of cups is generally a card of uh emotional disconnection moving on but i gotta be honest with you here that when i touch this card really what i'm feeling is someone is manifesting a move um i'm getting more of uh, honestly a three of wands feel with this card i'm getting more that someone here is really just emotionally disconnected from the people around them the places people and things around them and they want to move towards their nine of cups they want to go from the eight to the nine to the ten do you understand nine of cups engagement ten of cups wedding and you see like it's just funny like the way i see it on the board here because if you look here this eight of cups like they're walking up they're walking up this mountain and what is right on top of it 
engagement and marriage do you understand which nine ten of cups that's what i'm seeing here so someone here just literally wants to walk away from friends family whoever these eight of cups are friends family and apartment what the hell ever you know what i'm saying and they want to move towards this person pisces and with the magician you're manifesting this you're doing everything you need to do to get this going with the queen of wands and the two of cups i am feeling a very strong the queen of cups is magnetic okay magnetic passionate fiery competitive you know when the, when the queen of wands gets her eyes on something guys and i'm feeling more the energy of this card than anything but when the queen of wands sets their sight on something this bitch doesn't lose so like you know what i'm saying like she is out to get this and that's leo sagittarius leo sagittarius aries energy but you guys want to be with each other and i feel that you guys are literally manifesting this reunion you're manifesting coming together and you're willing to literally disconnect and separate from just about anything in your life with these eight of cups i'm seeing friend family home car job what the frick ever but you're willing to walk away from it to walk right to, into the arms of your nine of cups and your ten of cups here and you know with this two of cups it's magnetically coming together but something here is binding it something here it could be jail it could be prison it could be you know a, a pending court case it could be someone's in a different country and needs a visa it could be someone's trapped in another marriage it could be someone's trapped in another you know or someone i don't know but someone here is bound i'm getting strongly someone here is bound so i'm getting that one person can't move forward maybe the other one can because one person is able to walk while the other person is tied that's all i'm saying okay so what we have here is deserving and we have back and forth back and forth and deserving so what i'm actually getting here guys is a lot of back and forth traveling okay a lot of back and forth traveling um and with deserving, you know, you guys are realizing that you deserve to be with each other full time. So again, this could be a lot of traveling because someone is long distance. This could be, a, you know, a, a lot of visiting back and forth. Maybe you have someone that's in prison or something like that. Or maybe someone is in the army and you're going back and forth, constantly going to see this person. And you, you know, you're feeling that, you know, this person deserves or you deserve even, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's a lot of work, not just on the person that's bound, but on the person that has to travel back and forth and you deserve to be happy. And you know, you're feeling like you just want to move towards this person. You want to show the world this person, like, you know what I'm saying? You want to show the world that this is who I want to be with, okay? And with your seventh chakra opening and the sun, I'm feeling that your guides, your angels, it's just coming in. You're getting flooded with this is your person and you're being overwhelmed with this want to just drop everything and go towards this person that you deserve or, you know, this overwhelming sense of I deserve to be happy and I want to do this. Spirit, tell me about Pisces. Tell me about... Tell me about Pisces. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do my Pisces need to hear today? Please, Spirit. Tell me about this Eight of Cups, please, Spirit. The Eight of Cups. Clarified by the Eight of Cups. You guys want to go. You guys want to go. You want to, like, I'm getting the sense of just leaving everything behind and go. Why is the magician here, please, Spirit? The Three of Cups. You're manifesting, reuniting with this person. Reuniting with this person. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups. This love is magnetic. I'm telling you, it's passionate, it's magnetic, and you guys just can't stay away from each other. Why is the Two of Cups here, please, Spirit? We have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. What I'm getting is a strong sense of needing to protect this connection, okay? Um, maybe for some of you, you feel like if you guys were to remain, you know, at this, this distance from each other, that it wouldn't work. Whatever the case may be, the King of Swords is someone who's ready to fight and protect. Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Swords, please, Spirit. The Fool. You see, so we've got one person that's able to travel, 
we've got one person that's able to travel, one person that's free and one person that's bound. What did I tell you, right? You know, and I feel like the person that is, does not have their hand tied is the person that's ready to just leave and go and move towards the other person because they're deserving of this love. Final judgment call. I want to be with you and I'm going to do everything I can to protect this connection. Show the world the real you. You're going to be telling friends, family, job, whoever, the entire world that I want to be with you. And this is your, your seventh chakra. Your angels, your spirits, your guides are opening and you're manifesting this with the magician. You know, anything that you need or want. And that's why you may be flooded, okay, with a lot of thoughts here because you're trying to manifest bringing you and this person together and there's maybe a lot that comes with that having to move having to do this new job whatever so that's why there's this sense of confusion and that's also probably why i wasn't sensing anxiety with this confusion this is actual welcoming confusion okay this is a lot of chaos but it's welcoming because you're actually moving towards what you deserve you're moving towards your your love okay so what we have here for your person is unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going okay and we have playfulness to recapture romance allow your uh, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine okay so let's see what we have here we have the hermit virgo energy we have the ten of pentacles we have the five of wands we have the universe. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, so what I'm getting here, guys, is that there must have been an issue with your person where they withdrew from this connection for a moment. They withdrew from this connection for a moment, maybe with the Ten of Pentacles because of family issues. Or because they just were not emotionally available at the moment. But now they're coming back in to recapture. So that could be the judgment card here. This could be someone coming in with a second chance. They're coming in to recapture the connection with you. And this is because the universe is literally fighting for this, guys. The universe is literally fighting for this, okay? And what we have here is, you know, them coming in with a stable, committed, responsible offer here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, but this is very slow moving. This is a very slow moving energy, guys. So what I'm getting, Pisces, is that this may have been in the works for quite some time, okay? For quite some time, but now your person is here. They're on board with you because with this Ten of Pentacles, I mean, this is the universe fighting for you guys to be together. So what we have here is a great achievement and teacher, okay? So maybe this person had to withdraw Pisces if this person held back from you a little bit. They needed to do that in order to learn that, you know, you are their person. You are to get to this milestone of this great achievement to this Ten of Pentacles. So it may have taken this person a little bit longer to come to the level that you're at, but with the Ten of Pentacles, they're there, okay? So let's see what we have here. Spirit, what messages do my Pisces need to hear, please, Spirit? What messages do my Pisces need to hear, please, Spirit? Okay, so the Hermit. You see, this person may have withdrawn to figure out what it is that they wanted, okay? And with the star card here, that's Aquarian energy. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, see, Nine of Cups. This person is realizing, like I said, we're going from the Nine to the Ten, and here we are, Nine to a Ten. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, okay? So this person maybe had to take a breather to see what it is what they that they really wanted, but they're realizing that it's you. So this cycle has shut. A new one is beginning now. Spirit, tell me about the Five of Swords. Justice, Libra energy. So this person came in fighting for, an, you know, fighting to apologize and and for leaving you hanging here guys so this person it wants to come back in to do the right thing to do the right thing okay spirit tell me about the universe please 
page of swords yeah you see this person had an awakening and i feel that it was spiritual i feel that it was uh divinely guided because honestly here we have um the page of swords with the universe the universe for me is a representation of god the universe you're manifesting you're praying and that's like that the that it, it being answered you know tell me about this knight of pentacles yeah you see this person may have had other options or may have been confused okay but that's over now that's over now they're here to work on this connection they're here to come work on this connection and to be serious about it so let's see what the challenge is here guys we have the five of pentacles Oof. okay so with the five of pentacles what i'm getting here is there may have been ghosting somebody here may have really hurt the other person but ultimately it's a fear of losing okay so five of pentacles really represents a fear of losing so i feel pisces that you are in this position right now where you feel like you have to move towards this person to protect this connection and bring it closer together to get to this place of wedding and engagement okay now you're doing this out of you know somewhat a fear of losing this person like if i don't fix this if i don't close this distance between me and this person it's not going to work so you're working on that now your person here withdrew a little bit okay um withdrew a little bit to figure out what they want and now they're coming back and it's funny because we have that here i feel that you know both of you uh, there's two here two eight of of cups so i'm feeling that one of these eight of cups is this person emotionally disconnecting to go find their nine and ten of cups which we have right here okay interesting nine and ten of pentacles um and then we have you also moving to move towards this person so i'm getting you know this person realized that you are the one from them and now they don't want to lose you and you you don't want to lose them so that's why i was getting this queen of wands this magnetic attraction like you know when you let's just say you throw something away like a purse or i don't know something whatever you throw it away and then you realize like oh my god no no i really want that and you go back to go get it like that's where you guys are like like you guys separated then you coming together clashing like no i don't want to lose you i don't want to lose you i don't want to lose you you know what i'm saying you guys are coming back together and you know i feel like you guys are showing everybody in the world like and now it's become like public i'm getting very public like this connection has come together it's clashing and now it's public like you're telling people no i'm moving towards this person i me and this person are together what's crossing the situation was the emperor okay so the emperor could be a father figure so i did feel that for some of you that what may have come in between this connection could have been a parental figure a mother or a father maybe somebody here didn't like the other person um <clears throat> or this could simply be that someone here has to um you know man up woman up take control not live in fear and just do it okay just do it what's the outcome here we have the five of cups and the page of cups yeah you see someone here is coming in with an apology for leaving somebody behind for hurting somebody okay somebody here is trying to come in and make it right they're rushing in they're rushing in trying to make it right so pisces there was a separation here you guys went back and forth but now like you guys are coming together and clashing coming together and and clashing in a good way clashing in a good like like i i, I don't ever want to be away from you again period let's get married <laughs> you know what i'm saying so this person may be you know coming in using jokes or whatever trying to recapture that romance but it's all going to lead to this engagement and wedding it's all going to lead to a higher place so what i want to do is take this into an extended i want to see how you're going to move towards this person if you're going to get there and if this connection is safe and then on this person's end i want to make sure that they are really because that unrequited love keeps smacking me in the face there so i just want to make sure that this person is truly on the same page and has really decided that this is what they want and see how this is going to come together okay so we will figure that out in the extended i'll pull tarot clarify the tarot we'll pull oracle and clarify the oracle so guys if this resonated please be sure to like don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win uh drop a comment let me know how this resonates and i will see you guys in the extended love you bye